Packers are up at the Eagles this Sunday. Eagles are minus a seven. Total is 46 and a half. Before we get to it, let's remember about this monthly pass. Any two experts over at picksandparlays.net for only 299 bucks for the entire month. Two cappers for one month, 300 bucks. That's where it's at. Or just try it out for a week with two cappers at 179. That's value, people. And you can find it picksandparlays.net slash turkey. All right. So. Let's do this. Packers and the Eagles, like I said, minus seven, 46 and a half. How are you going to do this one, Chip? Well, you know, this is a great matchup of two championship caliber teams at one time or another, but obviously the Packers have slipped here. And by the way, Allie, I want to let you know, 19 and seven with their NFL Megabucks coming off the Dallas route of the Vikings. We're really cooking in the NFL and probably going to have one Megabuck play on Thanksgiving Day and another one again on Sunday. But either way, this is going to be a tough contest um, for Green Bay to get over. I just don't see them having the talent, and I don't think they can get in the shootout against this Philadelphia team because of the Phillies' defense. I think this game stays under the total, although Philadelphia is 1-4 um, against people with losing records in their last five. So that would make me lean toward the Packers, but I don't have any confidence in them. Um, Allie, the Packers are 1-4 in four on the road uh, against the number uh, this year, and Believe it or not, they're 14 and six after a loss, a straight up loss, which when we had Tennessee a week ago, Thursday, they got pounded. So um, I'm looking for the Packers to try and show up here, but I think they know that their way to get here is to keep a low scoring game and not and try to get. Most people would probably think that you want Aaron Rodgers throwing the ball. I just don't think so here. Not from what I've seen from their receivers, their inability to get open. Eight of the last 10 for the Packers have gone under, and the last five meetings in Philadelphia have gone under the total. Um, I usually like to give a side in the game. I just don't have confidence in the Packers here. Um, I'm low by game time if I have, a, I have a side or not. But right now, I think the only way I'm going to go is to play this game under. All right. So check out Chip's premium plays over at picksandparlays.net. That's where you might be able to find the side on this game if he likes it. But until then, we're going to roll with it going under the 46 and a half. Don't forget, everyone, like and subscribe. Ring that bell for notifications. We're on every Monday through Friday at 3 p.m. Eastern. Chip, thank you so much for stopping by the Power Hour. It's always a pleasure to see you. Thank you, Allie.